now we, uh, we will go to the next practice, which is Experimania 2. So as all practices shown today, Experimania 2 can be accessed through the practice database of Ingenius. As the database informs you, Experimania 2 focuses on properties of chemicals and gives experiments to be conducted in secondary school, mainly in the chemistry and physics classes. So don't hesitate to visit the practice gallery yourself to learn much more on various practices. When following the practice link, you will arrive on the properties section of the Experimania website, where you can find all experiments to be carried out to check various properties of chemical materials. This practice also used to be a competition, so please scroll down and have a look at different entries for inspiration. All the experiments are listed in the vertical menu on the left of the screen. And for each experiment, you see the properties to be tested, how to conduct the experiment, the leading questions, which are downloadable if you need, to, if you need a printable version. In the key documents, you can download the guidelines written for the competition, which might give you more background information about the project. So let's see the different experiments. Air and cold protection will test the properties of polyurethane fibers. The thermal protection and ability to stretch will be tested. Lightweight will compare the density of polycarbonates in protection goggles with normal glasses. For each experiment, pupils have to think of various uses of this property for the daily life. Electrical insulation tests the flexibility and the insulating properties of the plastic polyvinyl chloride. The energy efficiency experiment will test the loss of heat when using polyurethane foams or not by sensing if you can feel the cold in the two options. Water resistance will test the permeability and resistance of different chemicals such as vinyl re resins, high density polyurethanes and nylon. In the following experiments, pupils will have to understand what a combustion is to see the difference of speed, color of the flame, smell, and ashes when different fibers, artificial or natural, are being burned. In the resistance to basis experiment, we look at how natural and artificial fibers behave differently when in contact with a sodium hydroxide solution. And finally, the last experiment is about resistance to acids where we will study how natural and artificial fibers behave differently when in contact with a hydrogen chloride solution. Then you have different documents to help you, and the one which might be the most useful is the list of properties and materials so that you can conduct experiments such as the one above or your own. So now let's move on to a math and natural science practice with school football. School football is a practice mainly for primary school, which can help you teach some concepts in math and natural science. You have a small text to tell you how to play, and that gives you the rules of the different parts of the game. And then if you click on play game, you will access the two parts of this practice. Uh, play football is about math, and develop your team, it's about uh, natural science. So let's start with develop your team. Um, and then you can choose from five exercises on five different topics. So let's first look at nutrition, which trains your pupils to interpret data represented on a bar graph. So here is the graph, and pupils have to answer a few questions on the subject. If they answer correctly to the four questions, they mark one goal. The next one is body mass index. The pupils will click on one player and me measure his weight and height and calculate his BMI. The next exercise is about injuries. So you have one anim animation which shows you what happens on the pitch and then you have to give your diagnosis for the player's injury and then ap apply the right treatment. This exercise can be linked to first aid classes, for example. If we now look at fitness testing, we can see five players and uh, we can test all of their capacities by clicking on them and let them exercise. Record and compare their results and identify what player is the fittest. The last activity of this section is heart rate. 
uh, pupils have to predict a person's heart rate when having information such as his age, his habits, and etc. That's all for the develop your team part. Um, and now we can have a look at the play football part, where we have also five exercises, but this time about math. So one exercise will make your pupils calculate the mean, mode, and median of a series of numbers. The formulas are reminded at the top of the page. Then in the exchange rate activity, your pupils have to convert the price of a ticket into another currency, uh, being given the exchange rates of the two currencies. Then um, you have the angle activity, where your pupils will determine the angle shown in optus, uh, if, if the angle shown is optus, right, acute, or reflex. The next exercise is about speed, distance, and time. Your pupils will have to solve problems concerning one of the three, uh, given the two other data. And the formulas are always on the top of the screen to help them. The last one is about number patterns, where pupils have to find the rule of the series of numbers and guess the next two numbers in the pattern. Here we go. So I hope you will enjoy teaching math and biology thanks to school football. And then we have one practice left that I would like to show you, which is sensor adventure. So sensor adventure combines several STEM subjects and builds an activity about using sensors to conduct an investigation. You can choose between three exercising to build a satellite, an eco-village, or a biodome. Today we will focus on the eco-village. So the first page will uh, give you background information um, for your pupils to understand the challenge. If they do not read carefully this introduction, they will be in trouble to correctly carry out the experiment. The first mission is to build a solar panel. They can find information about the key challenges of the, their mission and then have a choice of three scientists to advise them during the mission. They will have a little resume of each scientist and then will choose. If they choose the wrong person at this stage, the scientists will not have the expertise to help them further in the game. In the next screen, we get to choose our sensor to conduct the experiment. We are measuring the reflected light to build a solar panel, so I'm going to choose the infrared light thermometer and to choose the material I think will work the best for building the solar panel. And the scientist may be able to help a bit with this. Then you see the amount of power that you have generated. To understand if your choice was the wisest, you will measure the infrared temperature of all materials. Then you discover if you have made the right choice and if your measurements were correct. So in the same exercise, you have several missions. So then you go to the next mission, which is about choosing the right spot for a solar powered base. Um, so you also choose an expert and a sensor. Then you will use common sense to choose a site for your base and in the next page you will measure the luminosity, luminosity of each spot to check your answer. The last mission is to correctly locate a wind farm. So as usual, you learn about your mission, choose a scientist and a sensor to conduct your experiment. You have a first choice of the location of your wind farm and then you check different sites with your sensors. You check if you've made the right choice and then you discover your results. Pupils can really easily act independently with this practice, so it, it's, it's a good one also. So those five examples were only to give you a taste of what the ingenious practices can look like. Now my advice is go to the ingenious website now at ingenious-science.eu and have a browse around the practice database to see all your, the informations that you will need. Keep an open mind and think of developing your pupils' taste for STEM in general instead of just sticking to the program uh, of math and science and all the other subjects. Seize this opportunity to collaborate with other teachers from all over Europe and uh, to teach new skills and maybe even in a new language. Embrace the spirit of a, an EU project and have fun. 
and good luck and let us know how it goes in the forum.